Welcome back to the Creo car tutorial. In this part, I will be just quickly fixing this surface and we'll start to trim some of the cut out. Okay, so make a copy of this curve here. Go copy, curve, make a copy and drag it down bring the four views up accept that and quickly edit make it Okay, so we might need to make this curve slightly more short. Where is the back view? Okay, so just attach this point onto the end of that curve. And this point to this curve here. So and recreate this particular surface. So delete. Okay, there's some problem there. Maybe cancel. Okay, what's wrong now? Let's go select this surface and press delete and press unlink and click regenerate see if there's any problems. Okay, so this curve here we'll just retrim that one. So undo I mean delete that curve regenerate delete that trim there as well. So that's TF is a trim surface. And that should be fine. Now we can create the surface here. Yep, and accept that. And quickly trim this particular surface again. So just right click to pick that. Okay, it's not showing up. Alright, this surface there. So make an intersecting line, accept, and select the surface and trim it. Okay, now we're going to move on, move to the back view, activate the back um, plane, and bring the view forward. And we'll trim, trim the, these sections out. Draw a curve here, it's a degree 5 curve. So switch up. Just draw a curve there. And may, maybe, maybe make it a bit longer. Make a degree 5 and accept. Okay, so right click to add some point. Actually, just press there. Okay, so this point is should be in the middle. So, um, put the coordinates for the middle of the x axis. And draw that this curve matching the blueprints. Make sure this point is Constrain horizontally so it's matching with the right plane. Okay, that should be fine. Alright, accept that. Drop this curve onto. Let's have a look. Okay, so actually, we need to. 
Just bring this curve down low because the top of our car is there. So bring this curve low. Just ignore the blueprints. Sometimes you just have to do that. Drop onto this surface with the back plane and trim it out. Go trim and select this curve that we cr that's dropped. And do the same for the bottom bit. Bring back the right view, I mean the back view. Create another curve right here. Make it a degree 5. If there's a sharp corner, it's a degree 5. And again, make sure all the all the lines that's connecting to the mirrored of mirrored side of the car it's constrained horizontally or vertically. Okay, so there you go, and except and go to drop curve drop onto this surface with the back plane except and go to trim and see how that looks Okay, right now we'll create a a slight a small surface on the back here. Click, uh, snap it on the point there, and switch on the right view, and draw a flat line going that way. And sweep this flat line across. Just like that. Okay, now we gotta create the center surface here draw a simple surface and we'll I'll just show you so just draw a line there switch to the right view so most of the basic steps are covered already you can start start to create the surface yourself try experiment with the tools and maybe bring it up all the way to to about here and also draw one more curve so click a point there and also Draw another curve up to there. And move, move it to the right slightly, it's more about there. And this should be moved back slightly. After that, create another curve. Connecting to okay, let's bring up the right the back view. Connect it, connect it to this surface. So you want it to touch there. I 
accept that. Uh, make sure it's horizontal. Move this curve to connect with that. And add a slight curvature here to make it look natural. Accept. So I what I did there is create the curve to make a surface right here. And also here as well. Actually let's have a look. Okay, I want this to extend down further so it's intersecting onto the surface. So what I can do is to move this curve down even more. Let's try the move tool, sometimes it doesn't work. Try a different view. Alright, looks like it's... Okay, I'll try and move this curve first. So go edit and drag this curve down. Okay, one all the way down to the bottom. Past this point. Okay, that's it. Now the reason we did that was to Okay, so I'm just regenerate the curve and Create now line here and here. Except bring it down to the bottom and create this particular surface there. That's what we wanted. So that was a bit lots of steps, but this should be on curvature and that should be on position. And except bring up the back view so this is let's bring this down make it more flat and one more step for the back of the car okay okay so basically there's just a flat surface across here all we can do is Hmm, what can we do is okay. Make a copy of this line and make sure you unlink it. Unlink, accept that, and move it down. So go move. We would just about there accept that and we go edit delete the points back here okay it doesn't let you delete so add some more points and start to delete away this part This point should be in the middle. This point should be horizontally constrained. And we add more points. Delete this bit. All right. Okay, accept that. Draw a line up and 
and basically what, what we want is just a surface right here so sweep that across and just drop this curve here on top with the back plane and trim it out and we also close this little section off hmm, how am I going to do that? so just draw a curve here okay what to do here so just add a, another curve near the end there accept that and create a surface by selecting the four curves and that's it so that's the back of the car I'll do a quick render okay so here it is here's the rendering um okay looks about right but this surface here we we gotta fix that we just gotta bring that up and make it um, meeting this line so I want to check how much time it is okay so I'm, I just have to end the video here so um, that's it for this part thanks for watching see you later